Hey guys, what's up? So in today's video I'm going to show you how to quite easily complete the one hour Red Bull ring for the Human Comedy Mission Challenge. I'm going to use the Group 3 Peugeot and as you'll see I'm going to use racing soft tyres and pretty much make a really quick start work my way up for the grid as quickly as possible. So one of the main things you want to know is that this first stint especially is just keep your uh, fuel mix at 1 and use as much as that you know, of that power and grip as possible just to keep working your way through the grid. So by the end of lap one, I'm still making my moves up the grid. Um, on a lot of the cars, you do have a massive straight line speed advantage, and you're also a lot quicker through the corners than all the other cars using this car. So one thing I did notice throughout this race was a lot of the AI were using the Group Three Subaru. I did think about using that, but the Peugeot, even online, is just proven to be rapid. So by the end of lap 3 I make a move here into third to get into the podium positions. Now it did take me a couple of laps to get past second place, um, but I did keep making quite a few silly little mistakes, but that just proves you do get quite a bit of leeway when it comes to this event. So by lap 11 my tyres are pretty much dead um, I'm going to make my first pit stop I'm going to go back onto sauce and fuel the car as much as possible So after this pit stop you are going to want to push as hard as possible at fuel mix 1 to try and get the gap down to the leader which should start coming down within a few laps. So by lap 19 it did start to rain quite heavy, I did reduce the power output to 3 to stop wheel spin in the rain. So at the end of lap 19 I'm going to take my second pit stop and I'm going to go on to heavy wet tyres. I'm going to also keep the power output lower. Um, this is to stop wheel spin, you know, just stop you sending yourself into the barrier in the rain. You will notice that some of the AI will stay out and it will cost them a lot of time. So you will make up the time pretty easy. So at the end of lap 20 the AI did finally pit 
for uh, wet tyres. It also seemed to pit, I think, about three times in this race for some reason. It pitted once, I think, twice within three laps. Um, once you're into first, you're never really going to look back. You just want to take your time um, and you want to reduce your power output a bit because, like I've just shown there, too much power, you will skip. So by the end of lap 27, the uh, track is starting to dry out a bit, but it's still too wet to go onto dry tyres just yet. As you can see, that car just pitted onto dry tyres and spun. You're also going to see here, some of the cars that have already pitted for dries, they're still struggling. Just hold out that little bit longer. So by the end of lap 30, it was dry enough to go onto dry tyres, so I went back onto racing softs, filled the car, and this should last you pretty easy to the end of the race. So lap 31 the AI's pitted again to go on to drives. At this point you're going to be about 40 seconds up on them. It's just a case now just taking the time. As you can see final lap around about 35 to 40 second gap. Job done. If you like this video don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. Cheers guys.